Hey, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the look that I did today. Um, I really, really, really like the way this look turned out today. So, I haven't done um, a tutorial for about a week and a half. Um, so, I'm doing this one today and I'm going to be doing a pink and purple eye in a couple of days. And I think it's going to turn out really good. But anyways, um, if you really want to see how I did this and there was a... Um, a follower of mine that wanted to see how to do a wing and to do a bold lip and to make them look bigger. I did show how to do it in my video. So, um, yeah, love you all and keep watching. Bye. Hey, so welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial or just, you know, tutorial makeup video today. Um, on some, it's pretty long. Um, I, well... Not new, but some things I haven't really used, but like last time, um, I um, I just got this, so I've only used it once, so I really want to play with that some more. Um, I finally got the Reel from Benefit, finally got that, um, and some Maybelline New York, um, really nice blue and really nice purple. So these are what some more I want to play with, um, but I'm going to be showing um, a bold lip for a request that I got um, like a really nice um, uh, outline uh, and a really nice intense lip and to kind of make your lips look a little bigger than they are because you can see my lips like the bottom one is just a little bit bigger than the top it's not much they're pretty well like right like proportioned properly but I am going to make it look so that they are a little bit bigger and I'm not no longer using the grapefruit wipes because they did give me a face rash and it was pretty intense. So all I'm using is um, just these are just cleansing wipes, face eyes, um, clean or they're called fresh clean wipes and they're makeup removal tissues and they're actually pretty they're not intense like those Neutrogena ones. These are pretty nice and like really soft and um, yeah it's like they're really really good so I haven't had any issues with them since I've been using them the last few days. And what I'm just going to start off with is um, I'm going to moisturize my Neutrogena and do I know I forgot it downstairs, but that's okay. I don't really need it today. Um, but also, I have Neutrogena Rapid Dark Circle Repair Serum for the eyes. So I'm going to put some of that on. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to use is Stay Down Straight from Benefit. Just I still have this little thing. It's like, it never, it seems to be empty. Like, and I'm going to put some on here. And then I do still have the Ula Lift Benefit Eye stuff, which I'm going to put a little bit under here and what I'm gonna like what I've been doing is I've been just kind of letting it sit so if you don't mind um, just seeing this under my eyes then yeah but if you do then I don't know because I just find that it if you let it sit for a while it does help like you don't want to be putting it on like how I used to put it on that one's kind of dabbing a little bit on the wrong edges, so that doesn't look so crazy. And you don't need a lot of this, just like I said before. You know, you can almost, you can even almost like just 
you add a couple more little shades of whatever color you want. Put some eyeliner on and some mascara and you're good. Like you don't need to pile on a million colors, but the fourth one in from the black. I haven't used this color yet. And just stay on top of the lid where you put your transition color. Just to make it a little bit more dark. Okay, so I don't know if I really want to use any, anything else out of here. I'm actually thinking maybe, yeah, maybe I'll use um, Busted. It's that purpley violet color. Really like that color. And I'm going to use the flat brush. And I'm just going to make a line in the crease, kind of like make a cut crease. This is this brush is perfect. This side of the brush is perfect for that. See, you can see where it's right in the crease. I like to just, I don't, I sometimes go back and forth really fast, but like, I just really go in one direction for the cut crease. I find that it works a little bit easier. The old tape trick. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to have tape left on here. Well, that's embarrassing. Wait. I think I do, but I have such long nails. doesn't look as intense anymore but this is okay so this is what I'm going to do next I'm going to take that really pretty color I said and with a very very small brush I'm just gonna get some in there and get right in That's so pretty. I just, I don't know what it is about this color. You know how everybody has a favorite color in a palette? Um, this is just Girl Talk. It's just a shimmer. It's a shimmer. It's kind of shitty lighting, but... Of lighting. I'm hoping that it turns out good. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is take my NYX pen, my eyebrow pencil and just kind of make a wing a little bit with this. This is also with an L1. I don't really want it too, too long, but it is okay, so. See, I'm going to shorten that. I just wanted to kind of make a little bit of a, since I have no face makeup on, I can wipe underneath, make A 
because you know how, like there's no fallout, there's none whatsoever, but just from having like stuff on your face. Okay, so I'm going to blend a little bit more and then I am going to do my wing since I did kind of show you how to really get an outline or what you can do is take a piece of cardboard and with in the side and like one of the edges of it make a little triangle just in the side and then put it up and then just fill it in like it's so easy to be able to just do different little things to try to um get like a perfect wing like i just did the tape thing like i can pretty well do it but um it's just do the tape put it up and then just go like this and just follow the outline of the tape and then you know and then or do the cardboard thing is what i can say it takes a lot of practice to do a wing so anyways i am going to do that and i am going to um be right back okay okay so i'm back um I was just busy doing so I decided that I will do the wing I was just I went to do something but I will do the wing on thing um, because people do have problems with it I guess that's why I was requested to help so what I do sorry okay so what I do is I just pull my skin a little bit like this and start in the middle and just stay as close as you can to the lash line. See, okay, as close as you can. So what you do is you just start and you just pull out a little bit and then just come back in. That's all you have to do. Use these on the bottom. I'm going to do a little bit of both. You'll see what I mean. I'll show you. And where is my sharpener? If I brought it up. And just, just go along your lash line. just use the, the mirror on this so that you can see how I do it. So what I do is I just start in the middle, start at the bottom and just really wiggle the brush. Sorry, I just dropped in a spot that I didn't like. Okay, so yeah, just really wiggle the lashes and then after you're done just go up and down a little bit on my skin but you know what not a big deal love this stuff. I don't know why I never tried it before. I just never really was, I just never thought that, it, I thought it was just going to be like any other mascara, but it's not actually. And so just take my, since I have long nails, my brow. 
out with my favorite thing of life. I don't even know where, like, this thing. This is the, the brow contour pencil. It's in, like, beige espresso. It's a sculpt and highlight brow contour. So what happens is, like, you know, that part. And then the brow, and then the color. Like, there's so much in there. I got one of these, and it's actually in my giveaway. Same color, like beige espresso. So, for you that don't know how to do this, I'm just going to take my side mirror here. And where I start is... Oh, that mirror is really soft. So anyway, okay, we're just going to have to... Bell with my... Okay, so where I start is at the bottom where your brow line starts and then just draw a line of how thick you want it see where that line is right here and then I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna keep going to how thick I want my brows and where my brows Um, like how thick my natural hair is because I'm growing them out. See, that's how thick it is right there. And then you just join it at the top and then just bring it down. Just like on top. Okay, so what we do now is I take my other one and I just use this side and I just use the tip and then you just blend those lines out. I usually just do it at the beginning of my eyebrow. look more natural like you never drew it in like I'm sure people will know but see it doesn't look so like like drawn so that's the way I like to do my eyebrows so we are done with the eyes completely I really like the way that they turned out so I really like the colors that I picked. Um, I think tomorrow or the next day I'm going to... No, not tomorrow, I'm going shopping. But on Wednesday I think I'm going to do pink and purple eye. Or if I get one of my new palettes in the mail, if it ever gets here, I'm going to use one of those. But we'll just go with that for now. Okay, so... Um, like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit more of my, what you call it? I left my brush downstairs. Why am I leaving everything downstairs? I'm just going to use this again. My hair is in something else right now. Okay, so what I'm going to use actually is the Magic Perfecting Base. You know what? I do need to go get my brush because that's the one I use first, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So this is the brush that I use, and I use the L'Oreal, sorry, I ran across my house, but downstairs, my Magic Perfecting Base Face Primer. It's like a whipped, pink whipped um, primer, and it's really, really good. I'm, I'm going to get another one. So that's done. Okay, so what's foundation I'm going to use today is I'm going to I really like this Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Foundation. It's skin brightening. It's kind of like a, it has a bit of a luminite illuminator in it. Vitamin C and this is in the shade Nude. And what I do use um, for to mix it with is, you guys know this, my concealer from Maybelline, the Master Conceal Face Studio. This is a medium deep. I don't use much, I just use a little bit to, um, so I don't look, so, so it doesn't look so white because this 
foundation is a little on the light side for me so So yeah, I'm just gonna put this, 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 this. Like that. So what I'm gonna do next is conceal. So I'm gonna use the Revlon Age Defying Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. I love this thing. As soon as I use it, I fell in love with it. So the colors that I use is this one and the banana powder and I use the highlighter it's pretty well lit right now she's cool I'm just gonna take oh my gosh take my Morphe brush and blend. See? It does not look so harsh. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take my Morphe 438 for the banana powder. You know, there's no specific rules. There is rules, but if you want to use any brush for whatever, go for it. Who's going to stop you? I'm not. I'm sure there's nobody else that's going to stop you. See how contoured my face looks now? Okay. Now is I'm gonna use the same brush, same Morphe brush for the highlighter. Oh, I'm obsessed. This is so pretty. Um, I'm pretty well done. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my, this is a lip liner in from Rimmel. It's called Exaggerate. It's a rabbish color. It's like a, you know, like a red. So what I do is, I'm trying to put my glasses back on. I need to get contacts. Ooh, now that I can really see. Okay, so. Sorry. You start in the top, you know, right here, and you just draw like this.
Okay, so I'm done with that. What I'm going to do is take a really, this is the May, Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Color. And the color. Keep up the flame. It's kind of a weird name, but it's a very nice color. And I'm going to do it like that. it. It looks dark, like you can see. It's just because of my lip, but it's not. So, and what I'm going to do is put this on. I'll be right back, my phone journey. Okay, so I am done. Press any buttons. So this is the look that we did and I am so happy with it today. It turned out super, super good. See how big like my lips are? How our eye came out, our wing, our brows, contour, everything. So. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see what I used, look below. Hit the thumbs button right over there. It's right there. I know you see it. It's right there. And hit subscribe right here. It's over on this side or up here. But please do both and tell your friends um, if you want to go and see my Instagram. I do have a giveaway. There is mostly drugstore makeup, but there is a lot. There's brushes, there's um, skincare, there's the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. There's another nude palette. There's, um, there's so much stuff. I don't even remember. Like There's a lot of makeup. And whether it's drugstore or not, who doesn't like free makeup if you win, right? So, I hope you all enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be watching. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, and hit the subscribe. Please. Okay, bye.